Hey, it's around here. In this template release, I'm going to be sharing with you a template, which is a sales funnel with multiple pages, all the way from lead capture to thank you page to order form where somebody buys something to upsell one, also known as 0201, upsell two, also known as 0202. 020 stands for one-time offer, by the way. Then downsell. So if somebody says no here, they get a downsell. And if they say yes, they go to the final upsell, which is uh, the final upsell here, which is called 0203, one-time offer number three. And then there's the final thank you page. And even at the end, there is an affiliate information page in case you want to turn this entire funnel into some sort of an affiliate program like I have set up. You'll be able to do that with this entire funnel and you'll be able to do that. Now, I was thinking about customizing the colors and things like that, but I decided that it might be better to just actually leave it exactly as it is. And the reason why is because that way you can actually see what it was and then you can change things as you go. And I do request you obviously don't share this and also do use it as you see fit. So let me take you through page by page. So the first page is a squeeze page and this page is where you capture email addresses. Now, you will notice that there's no automation rules or anything like that connected to it. So you'll need to configure all of that stuff. And this is my nine email marketing tips free PDF. So this is the opt-in page title, subheadline, three bullets, and then text input form name, input form email, CTA button, and an image. So you can replace the image, change the text, and you'll be done. This is an exit pop-up as well, where you can actually capture email addresses as well. And by default, the way I have it set up is both of these go to the next page of the funnel. However, that part is totally optional. So you'll customize that by clicking here. You see that it says next step. You can change that. If you don't want to go to the next step, you want to go somewhere else, that can be done. Okay. And you'll notice here that there's also the um, footer as well. You'll definitely want to customize that because this footer is obviously my links. So you want to customize what's in here as well. So, and also when you go to settings on this page, you want to definitely change what is here, the social image, the author, the keywords, the description, and the title, the SEO optimization. Okay. You definitely want to make sure you customize all of that as well as what you see on this page. As you can see, if you look on settings, you'll also notice that there is a background color for this section. So you'll be able to click here and it will delete the background color as well. So that all that stuff is all customizable and you can customize it as you see fit. Once somebody enters their name and email, they will be taken to the next page, which is the thank you page. Now in the thank you page, I'll show you what is currently there. There is a picture of me, which you can remove that of course, put your own picture. And then thanks for downloading the PDF, it's been sent. You obviously wanna change this, you wanna change the subject line so it's your subject line and then you can change the Facebook group or give them some other call to action when they click on this button it automatically takes them to this page basically and this page is the sales page the um, first order form where somebody can buy something from you now the reason it's there is because I did want to have people join the Facebook group as well although from a strategy standpoint you can actually not even send people to the thank you page at all. You can send them straight to the order form. Now this is the order form. So you wanna change the text here as to the attention, calling the attention of who it is you're targeting. Um, you can have a better headline as well here if you wish. Change, the, change this image. These are bullet points. Give them a recap on what they're getting. Here I've got different bonuses that they're getting as well if they pick up the order bump and you can change the image in the text about you. And then here you'll notice a couple of things. If you actually look on the preview of this page, uh, you actually, let me show you the actual sales page. You see here that there is code, this code and this code. So what's there? What's there is actually my testimonials, which are pulled from my Facebook business page. That's what you're seeing right here. Now this code is coming from a software called Elf Site. If you go to a run.link forward slash Elf, site, that's how you spell it, you will be able to get access to this particular software if you want to pull information for your reviews, basically. And this is the software that I use to pull the reviews. Okay. Now, if you go to my account right here, I'm going to show you what it looks like as well. So you see here that I have a mobile version and I have a desktop version as well. And you can see how many page views I get per month. It's a lot of views, like it's a decent amount, of, not a lot, but it's 
it's a decent amount of views that I get on it and I am on a paid plan for this particular software. So this does cost money. However, if you don't wanna pay for it, you wanna have it as a free tool, that's also an option, but there is come some limitations basically, okay? So that is what creates the Facebook reviews basically. And this is something that I'll actually cover in a, a, a workshop on testimonials as well separately. Now, you're gonna wanna basically remove this raw HTML and this, and you'll notice that this is desktop. And if you look under mobile, you'll notice that I have a different code for the mobile. That's because I customize how many reviews per code, basically, and that's why it's done that way, okay? Otherwise, it doesn't look good on mobile, so I had to have two separate codes. So that's how you customize all of that. I recommend you leave this and this and all that the same way. And this is the order bump as well. Now for the order bump to actually appear, you're going to need to actually customize the payment information um, in the backend under step configuration, which is under here on the order form. And then you will need to customize all of that stuff right here. I'm going to delete all of that because it, it doesn't actually need to be there, but you just wanna make sure that you actually follow and put the information there. I don't think this will transfer anyway, but anyway, it's important that you customize this aspects when you are receiving this template. So I'm just gonna delete everything that's here, that's there. But um, yeah, if you have any questions, you can let me know and I'll, I'll give you a checklist. But you just wanna follow the usual tutorials on setting all this up, basically, okay? So that's that. Then I have it with affiliate commissions too. The next step to configure after the order form when somebody actually makes a payment, you are going to see a upsell. Now this particular upsell, again, you're gonna see different resources. Now this is really important to understand. I have the resources here and the tag here is being triggered under workflows. So even though I have a tag, this tag, the actual automation is done under workflows. This is really important to understand, okay? So here I have the resources being added, okay? And you'll notice that I have a tag, a course, I have a pricing plan, and on the order bump, I have course, tag, course, and so on. And I have it limited with the delay of what they're getting. But the actual email is being triggered by the tags. So this is really important to understand because um, with the, the structure of this, you basically wanna trigger an email only if they buy the upsell. And the way to do that is through tags and workflows. So the, you're gonna need to use workflows as part of this. Again, this is something that you can learn in another email marketing tutorial that I have on this, and I will leave it in this template as well. When you're downloading it, you'll see the tutorial on uh, how to set all of that up, okay? So that's that. Now, let's talk about the, this particular upsell. So this upsell, you're gonna need to customize on the edit page, have a look. You can obviously customize the colors. So this is text, this is bullets, text, text, text headline, text, and this is a video. You need to replace this video. This is a custom embed using a software called Videlo. So again, I can give you the link for Videlo, but honestly, just use system video hosting. It's gonna be simpler. Uh, Videlo, I pay, I think, $197 a year for this particular video hosting, and I use Videlo exclusively for all of my sales videos and upsell videos and things along these lines. That's just a personal choice, but you, do, you really don't have to do that. That's just me being fancy, okay? I've used them for a long time, and I've just kept it that way. Now this button is the accept button, which means you leave it as it is, you just change the text. So you click on it, change the text and the colors and all that stuff, but don't delete this button. This is the decline button. So if they say no or they say yes, they will go to the next upsell page. And here I have testimonials, which are purely images. So these are just straight screenshots. Unlike the other one, these are just screenshots. That's all this is, okay? Now let's exit this particular O2O, uh, 0201. 020 stands for one-time offering again. Now, whether they say yes or they say no, they're going to be taken to the next upsell, which again, it's giving them access to something, tagging them to trigger an email, and then a pricing plan for this as well. Now, with this, again, if you were to go to the edit, you're going to notice pretty much the same style. So you're going to see um, your order is not complete, title, a video which you can remove, buttons, and this accept button, and this decline offer. Again, you wanna change those to suit your branding and all that stuff. But don't delete that, don't delete that. If they say yes, then um, they're going to move to the next page, um, the next upsell. If they say no, this is really important, if they say no, they decline, they're going to go to the downsell. So here I'm offering $97 for something, and then the downsell is the next page, and the next page basically 
is this one. And this one, I basically give them the same identical offer, but this is a downsell page. And in here, the pricing plan is different. So if you look, it's actually, instead of $97, it's a four payment plan of $30 per month. Okay, so that's the difference, basically. Otherwise, the funnel looks exactly the same. And again, the access is done through tags and they get access to the resources. Then the final upsell. So if they say yes here, they go to this page and it skips the downsell. If they say no here or they say no or yes here, doesn't matter, they always get to this page. So this one potentially gets skipped, the downsell page. Now if they're on the final upsell, this is where I have the templates and guides membership. And again, I have this as $77 a year, uh, tag and so on. And again, you can click here on edit page. You can customize everything that is here. Text headline, text, text, a little explainer, a video, up, accept, decline, some info about how the membership goes. And again, accept and decline in different places as well. Okay. So you can customize all of that. And then the final thing is, of course, the final purchase confirmation page, which let's see what that looks like. So this is the final confirmation, a little bit of info. Of course, you can customize all of that. Cool. So this is the final purchase page. Okay. And you can customize all of that as well. Now I do recommend for this page that you do use my shareable templates template as well. And that's the end of the funnel. Okay. Now you will notice that there is one more bonus page here. And this is actually a really good page for you to look at because this page is actually going to explain the entire funnel as well. So you can see order form, upsell, upsell, downsell, upsell. This is the affiliate commission, how it works. So you can actually promote this entire funnel. This is my beginner's guide to email marketing. And uh, yeah, use, uh, you know, you can actually promote this funnel and do make uh, commissions based on everything you see here. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I want to share with you. Uh, this is a really exciting template. Uh, this was actually a request by one of our uh, members and I'm really excited uh, with sharing this with you. This is probably the most extensive sales funnel template thus far. And uh, yeah, hopefully you'll be able to implement this, customize it. It's a lot of work to customize it. There's a lot of moving parts here. If you're not in my tech support membership, uh, you know, you'll need to um, obviously Make sure you test this funnel as well. If you are in my templates, in my uh, tech support membership, you're welcome to book a call with Peter to get help and have a look to make sure you customize everything correctly. I will try to leave checklist on every single piece so you know how to customize these as well. So you can see on the back end how to do all of that. You'll see all the checklist and the details below. So yeah, that's about it for now. If you have any questions, let me know. And the first step is obviously to customize the pages and then the automations on the back end, I'm going to leave a little checklist on each page so you can customize those as well because there's a lot of moving parts. So that's about it. I'll speak to you soon.